When VW introduced the new Beetle, lowercase new, it seemed like only a matter of time before it also introduced a convertible version. Well, a time has come. Surprisingly, the key feature of this new Beetle convertible is the roof. Now, remember the old new Beetle, and for that matter, the old, old original Beetle? Well, their folded roofs used to stack on top of the rear deck, and it made rear visibility an absolute nightmare. Well, this new one, it stacks up much lower. Visibility has been greatly improved, but there is a downside. If you want that nice, clean look, you're going to have to install the tonneau cover. Win some, lose some. Back seat space has never been a Beetle convertible trademark, and this one isn't any different. That seat back is just way too upright. But the rest of the cabin's quality, design, and controls are identical to that of the Beetle Coupe, and that's definitely a good thing. As for the trunk, well, it has one. Besides adding the convertible for 2013, the Beetle lineup also gains the TDI engine, which is estimated to get 33 miles per gallon combined. Although on our testing, we found the diesel engines usually do better than advertised. Now on the convertible, you'll also be able to get the base five cylinder as well as the turbo. The Beetle Convertible will be offered to three different special edition packages that correspond with different decades in the Beetle's history. There's the 70s, the 60s, and the 50s. Now, they're essentially just trim packages with the new color combinations, but it's kind of a fun idea. So not only is the Beetle one of the only convertibles in its price range, it's the only one that can do 40 miles per gallon on the highway. Of course, Beetle Convertible isn't exactly everybody's idea of an automotive fashion statement.